Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka the D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today I have my last haul from uh, Midtown for the time I was gone. It's actually two boxes, so I actually think they came, probably came at different times, but that's all right. Still got their own. And I've got something else here I'm going to show you guys. Uh, one of my friends actually sent me a card. Thank you so much, Bill. I appreciate it. But he also had a pack of these in here. Dang it. Oh, I was about to say I had them upside down. I hate the 90s. Garbage pail kids. Uh, when I was a kid back in the late 80s. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'm that old. But garbage pail kids were huge. I mean, they were massively huge for a while. And so I was like, um, I didn't really get too many. Uh, one of my friends up the street from where I lived, he had a ton of them. I wonder if he still has them because I'm sure that first series would probably still be worth something. I don't know about um, the later runs. I know I looked online not too long ago and I saw some of the uh, older ones, um, like the second, third, fourth printings. Our four series were not as good, but I think the the first series were still pretty good. And I know this one guy; he had he probably had at least one full set of the the first series of them, at least. All right, let's see what we got here. This is interesting to me. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, American Dolly. There we go. These feel smaller than regular cards. I think they are. Uh, I'll set you right there. Next is Doomed David. I am fairly confident these are smaller than uh, they were back in the day because back in the day they were the size of regular baseball cards. Next is Dancing Wolfgang. Is the Dancing with Wolves? <laughs> That's pretty funny. These are all stickers now that I'm thinking, I'm feeling it. Yeah. Uh, next is Jacked Jared. Uh, uh, Jacked Jack. I'm sorry. Jacked Jack. <laughs> uh, next is Paged Page. Okay. Uh, yeah, you got to be from the 90s to know what a pager is, I think. At the very latest, early 2000s. Remember when my brother first opened up his uh, shop? We actually sold pagers. This was back in 2000. I think we probably ended up throwing them away. <laughs> As that's about when uh, cell phones really started to, to take off. Next is Boy to Meet World from the TV show Boy Meets World. Uh, not too long ago, they come out with uh, Girl Meets World. Afraid of the Mark. Okay. <laughs> uh, next is, instead of Pretty Woman, we got Pretty Wanda. <laughs> oh, man. Half-Wit Harry. I know, I'm, I know this is taking way too long on this video. I'm not going to lie, but it's still funny to me. Next is Nick Tick. Uh, I remember when The Tick first came out back in the day. I, I loved that show. I thought that show was amazing. <laughs> Men in <laughs> Men in Blake. <laughs> Booze Co. <laughs> Squelch's Ape Juice. <laughs> I know, I'm, I, I'm thinking this is hilarious. Uh, Ripped Upton. There, oh, this was not right. Digital Dan. <laughs> uh, Slide and Sal. Wow, this is, a, this is a jumbo pack. Great day. Instead of Blue's Clues, we got Hughes Clues. Is it blue on there? Yeah, blue's on there. <laughs> 
Melt away Mayim. What is that? Mayim, Mayim Bialik. Who is now on, um, what should I call it? Uh, Spray Ray, uh, Big Bang Theory, Mayim Bialik. Uh, let's see. Uh, Royal with Lewis. That one I don't know. Scud Buster. Uh, you got to remember Desert Storm to know that reference. Only three left. Uh, catch them all. Like Pokemon, catch them all. Uh, Lynched Laura. Oh, Laura Lynch from um, uh, Twin Peaks. From Twin Peaks. And last, but Baby Dino. Now, I don't know if there were any variants or anything in there. I, I, I didn't see any, but that don't mean there, there aren't any. All right. All right. Now, let's get to the good stuff. Time for the books. recorded two videos today and and I'll try to get uh, one out today one out tomorrow today is the NCAA basketball championship game which I mentioned on the last video too so depending on when I get this video out we will know if my University of Virginia Cavaliers are national champions or if they are not national champions from Midtown Comics so I'm really hoping next time I make a video I will, my Cavaliers will be national champions. We shall see. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We start off with Hulk number, uh, the Immortal Hulk number 15 is awesome. Alex Ross artwork there. It is the A cover. Next, Immortals Hulk. This is um, the um, Marvel's 25th anniversary. It's hard for me to believe it's been 25 years since the Alex Ross, um, Kurt Busiak run of Marvel's come out. That was an amazing uh, four-issue run. It was technically five because it also had zero. Uh, zero, one, two, three, four. And wow, it's just it blows my mind that time has gone by that fast. 25 years. Wow. Uh, next is a beautiful cover. Uh, Teen Titans number 28. That's an awesome cover. Deathstroke on there. That is awesome. That is awesome. That's wow. <laughs> That, that that's that's just too good next venom number uh number 12 it's the spider-man uh villains cover i just thought that was phenomenal there we go next is this is the a cover of high level i really don't know anything about this I just heard uh, a lot of people saying uh, I, it's something I should get because I hear it's going to be really, really good. So I went ahead and picked it up. It also had a B cover and I, uh, that one had sold out before I got to it. Let me see which cover this is. I think it's the A cover. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Um, dark Red. I'm hearing huge things about this. Again, I have not read it. Uh, this is by Aftershock Comics. They usually put out very good titles. So, I think I'll go ahead and pick that up as well. Looks awesome. Uh, let's see. Next is, what is this? Uh, Batman, uh, number 67. This is the B cover. When I bought this, I do remember the A cover had sold out. Uh, and then, if you guys saw last week, week before last, I can't remember my one of my last videos, 
I, the A cover had come in. And, oh, the, yeah, the A cover come in. Oh, this is the B cover. So I do have the A and B cover now, finally. And this one, this is my second or third one of these. Just because I think the cover is awesome. I was, uh, one of my last videos, uh, Harley Quinn 59. There we go. There we go. That is awesome. All right. And like I say, I, these are back issues for me now. Yeah, you know, these were you know new when I ordered them. But again, I you guys know I've been been out of the circuit for a little while. And I don't put so much time in this video. I should just wait and do um, this box later. I'm already cutting it open. I got to do it now, don't I? That might be some kind of a law. Once you start cutting the box open, you gotta you gotta do the video. Sorry, got to. Unless something happens with the uh, video camera. All right, all right. And uh, this one's got a pretty good stack in it. Sit you down there. One more time from Midtown Comics. Starting off with uh, Spawn number 294. I think that's, um, that might be the logo on Brock Lesnar's chest. <laughs> or his back. Might be his back. Can't remember where it's at. I think it's on his back. <laughs> the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. And here is the variant cover. The uh, Virgin cover. I think the first one was the B cover, and I think this is the C cover, I think, or vice versa. Ah, this is the B cover. The other one is the C cover. Next is 294. There we go. That's the A cover for Spawn. That's amazing. And it's hard to believe they're almost at 300. That's crazy to me. Next is still one of my favorite reads. We're up to number 17. Wow, number 17 of Rose. Just, just, well, just seems like these things are going way too fast. Next is the first appearance of Old Man Joker. It is Old Lady Harley, number five. There you go. The geriatric Joker. <laughs> All right, that's that's hilarious. Been waiting for this one for a while. Uh, issue five, John Wick, and this is the photo cover. There you go. Let me switch these two. Uh, we got Heroes in Crisis number six. This is a really good read. These I'm digging. I, uh, let me know if you guys are liking this or not, because I am really, really liking it. To me, it, it, this is one of those that either people like me will just love it, or people will really not like it at all. And this is the B cover. Loss of Barry Allen. Number six. Heroes in Crisis. I love the idea of it, and I, I think the execution has been really, really good. Detective Comics number 999, as you already know, 1000's already come out. The Doom Child. There we go. Yeah, I have not caught up on this. So I'm really looking forward to see uh, the, the run up to 1000 and uh, what's come after that. Number 999, that is the B cover. Nice artwork there. Good, I can start reading some more of this. It is um, DC Vertigo. 
from um, Sandman University, Books of Magic number five. I'm digging this series. This is one I'm actually caught up on because uh, when I, I was actually reading them along as I was in the hospital and um, and um, the, uh, the the rehab center, um, the rehabilitation center for my hip and everything. So really, really kept up with that one. That's a beautiful cover right here. Uh, this is Batgirl number 32. I don't think that's Middleton, is it? It's not. It's uh, Derek Chu. Derek Chu had a very amazing variant, a Harley variant I was just looking at. And, and my other haul video that will be out either right before or right after this one. That's an, another awesome cover. Action Comics 1008. That is, that's a beautiful cover. Awesome, awesome artwork on that. Let's see. That is, um, oh, Jeff DeKyle. I've gotten to meet him. Awesome artist. Uh, this one right here, I think we all know who did the artwork on that. Just looking at it, the, the amazing artwork of Art Germ. Wonder Woman number 65. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, hopefully, hopefully get back to San Diego this year and I would love to get a commission, but man, the price, great day. Uh, that's my haul right there. Um, and again, I'm recording this before the Virginia game versus uh, Texas Tech, the national championship basketball game. Uh, I'm a diehard Cavalier. You guys know that. You, you guys know that. So I'm just, I'm just fingers crossed they can somehow win this game. It's going to be a titanic battle with two great defensive teams. Just uh, ever whose offense comes to play is going to be the one that, that pulls it out. And really looking forward to it. Nervously looking forward to it. The way Virginia's been playing, just somehow like magic eking them out at the end. Some people will say they're getting calls. Uh, some people say there's a double dribble in that last game, but they will conveniently ignore the, uh, the Auburn player who grabbed the jersey of Ty Jerome before the double dribble. It was definitely a double dribble, <laughs> but they will conveniently overlook the fact that uh, Ty Jerome had his jersey yanked before the double dribble. But, go who's. <laughs> uh, again, it's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a great game tonight. Uh, ever who wins, in my opinion, definitely deserves it because these are two great defensive teams i actually i'm a defensive guy you guys if if you're a fan of uva uh basketball you you pretty much have to love watching defense and i personally think uh there's a couple ways to win ba basketball games one you can outscore your opponent which a lot of teams try to do uh like 98 to 93 games or you can play really really stiff defense and hold the opponent to fewer points than you score. University of Virginia and Texas Tech, that's their path to uh, the national championship game. Playing that ridiculously great defense, Virginia number one in the nation and allowing points, and Texas Tech, I believe, was number three in the nation. Ever who gets to 50 points first may be your winner tonight. So good luck to Texas Tech. Um, I want my Cavaliers to win, but... Uh, I, I don't I don't know I don't know I'm, I'm I know I'm, I'm rambling on here because in my mind I'm having a conniption fit thinking about this game tonight and again this video will probably be out after <laughs> after the uh, game tonight so but anyway wish me luck in my lifetime of sports fandom uh, since about the early 1980s literally for uh, Virginia I became a fan for UVA in 1980 when Ralph Sampson was there. And I've been a fan ever since. First time we've made it to the national championship game. And all my sports fandom, uh, the Detroit Lions in football, baseball, my New York Mets. Um, in college, it's University of Virginia. I've only had one championship in my life. That was the 1986 New York Mets. It's time for me to add a second one. 
At least I think so. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, I, I wear my Fandom on my sleeve. It's a short sleeve tonight, but normally it's a very sturdy, heavy sleeve. But <laughs> okay, that's all I got. That's all I got. I'm sorry for rattling. I'm sorry for rattling. Go hoos. You guys have an incredible day. Wahoo wah.